I just need to shift from merits to demerits now. Okay. So I want to tell the reader, hey, the next parent is at disadvantages. So can I say, if I say the same thing, there are several demerits. Okay. To the same. The reader is confused. Hey, just now you told me that there are merits. Okay. And immediately you're saying there are several demerits. So I really need to give that heads up to that person by writing the contrast word. However, what happened? However means what happened? Okay. You're waiting. Oh, yeah. Something happened. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, other side, something like that. Okay. It gives the understanding that, oh, the topic is changing sides. Now, however, okay, it's or renting can have, don't say several demerits. It's dark side. You understand? If you think, oh, it's not a very serious problem. Let's not write dark side. It's okay. Then you can write demerits. Okay. Okay. Huh. All right. That means you are saying that however renting can have is demerits too. That means there are merits and now there could be demerits too. Can have. Hmm. It is not always true. Always write a possibility. Okay. You can write here also. Hence people may look out for possibly. Okay. You can make it here also. It may offer Make it all possibilities. Can be. You understand? Here also you can say. There can be several merits of saying and so and so. It may offer something, something. All this means this is only a possibility. Not necessary. It is the same thing. Okay? For everyone. But it's a, one of the options. Topic sentence. So I started on the other hand. There are also disadvantages and other things. I, I did that first part. Done. Now, what is the main drawback? Now, there could be a long list of it. But the first thing when a person thinks of rented and owning a property is the financial part of it. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. So, when I went for this, I also thought the money part of it. Like We as a group thought about the monetary aspect. So, what did we do? Now, let's see how we can talk about the main drawback. What is the first drawback? Let's see. No ownership. Okay, mm -hmm. having no ownership. But then let's write from the financial perspective. You can say renting can have its demerits too. You can say at, uh, we have already written firstly and secondly. So let me highlight. Please don't start again with firstly and secondly. Okay, write something else. Hmm? The first and foremost, just changing the same thing because the company needs a lot of fine posts. As an individual, you know, it may not be probably necessary to write a lot of sign posts for the moderator because the moderator understands the meaning. The computer doesn't. Okay, just hold on. Huh. The first and the foremost disadvantage. Now, how should I write disadvantage? Negatives. Okay, is that there is no ownership in spite after what? Okay, several years of renting in spite of paying hefty, don't write EMIs, okay? Write equal monthly installment. And then in bracket, you can put EMIs and then you can use it. Okay. So first and foremost, negatives, negative is that there's no ownership after several years of renting in spite of paying hefty equal so-and-so installments. Okay. That means this can be, okay, a concern during the old age when there may not be 
uh, a heavy cash funds heavy funds or cash flow and paying rent would be an issue concern burden okay concern so i just slightly changed what i thought in that moment okay there is no asset instead of that i wrote this this can be or having no asset here also i can say instead of this having no asset okay can be a concern during the old age when there may not be a heavy cash flow paying and paying rent would be a concern okay moreover that means i'm adding to the same idea okay since there is no ownership i'm just connecting to the previous thought there could be again not land owners every land owner would be same landlord would be same there could be multiple approvals involved approvals by the landlord okay involved okay or approvals involved by the landlord okay example or for instance certain uh room owners i don't want to write landlords may not a certain certain society also allow pets in the flat property property how many times will write okay flat or if you think that oh this is a very short one then i can really write another one okay uh, i think there's another point to be written so don't for instance certain owner room owners may not allow pets in the flat okay pets or even here only can say or non veg there are many people who do that you can eat in your own flat but then there are people who would not allow the tenants to do that okay that's it now second point flexibility charges and other things secondly how should i write secondly another concern should i write the concern with the word is already written have i change have i i think written the same word here yes to be an aspect. Issue. aspect yeah i'll write here also concern concern was your back to back another aspect aspect sounds more positive give me another negative word another problem okay. another problem of okay no ownership instead of renting homes have no ownership or lack of ownership own house lack of own house means renting only okay another problem of lack of own house <laughs> lacking ownership okay is that there are no emotional connect with the space that you see okay means what also it is not easy or it is emotionally draining to uproot yourself very frequently okay and change your surroundings including your neighbors and connect local connects don't write vendor vendor okay something like this now revision you have to revise you think that you are writing something but sometimes you end up flow of story writing you might end up rewriting the same thing or same words so you have to revise now however renting can have its demerits too first first and foremost negative is that okay there is no ownership after several years of renting in spite of paying hefty equal now there is no there is no a uh, doubt that there is no ownership and hence i'm definitely writing don't say there can be there is no doubt of course you are paying rent will you will somebody give you the ownership no will they say now it's yours since you are using it for 10 years 
No. Okay. In spite of paying hefty amount. If you think I'm writing too much, I think I've crossed 300, then you can reduce this to one word. Three words can be cut down to one word. Okay. Having no asset can be a concern, especially or particularly during the old age when there is there may not be heavy cash flow and paying rent would be an issue. Moreover, oh, I forgot the full stop. Moreover, since there's no ownership, how many times I've written ownership? Only once, right? Here and here. Okay. Since one doesn't own it, there could be multiple. Uh, moreover, I'll just cut this. Since moreover, there could be multiple approvals by the landlord. No. Moreover, there could be multiple approvals by the landlord. By the landlord? No, from the landlord. Okay, even for the smallest thing. There could be multiple approvals from the landlord for any changes, any minor changes. Okay. Well, even for, because I just want to stress, even for any minor changes. For instance, certain room owners may not allow pets or non vegetarian uh, food to be cooked in the flat. Another problem of lack of ownership, you don't, uh, approvals and this, maybe pets approval is, yeah, approvals. Yeah, even for minor changes, but I can say minor changes, right? These are not changes. Uh, even for any minor, what you can say? Pets and vegetarian would be what? Minor approvals. There could be multiple approvals from the landlord for certain things. Okay, it's a very vague thing that I'm putting right now because I'm not really getting the word in that moment because this is not matching. These are not minor things, right? Minor changes. Okay, for example, certain room owners may not allow pets or something. Else. Another problem of lack of ownership is that there's, there are no emotional connections with the space that you stay. Also, it is not emotion. It is not emotion. It is not emotionally draining. It is emotionally draining. Okay, don't write also because it's the same thing that I'm referring to. It is emotionally draining. There's no emotional connects. There are no connects. Plural. Yes, it is emotional draining to approve yourself. Okay, very frequently and change your surroundings, including your neighbors and local connects. Yes. Okay, this is where I thought that this is a structure. One thirty-seven. No, not one thirty-seven. One twenty. Five. Okay. So what happens? I'm writing beyond hundred words. So I'm probably touching three hundred odd words. Okay. Now conclusion. Before that, I'll just show you what are the signposts. This helps the computer to understand that oh, this person has written examples. Oh, this person has written the uh, problems in sequence. All right, the, all these are signposts. Then where's the thought process? What's the first thought process? No ownership. I can't really see a good color, no ownership. Okay, and this is all explanation of the same thing. Okay, then multiple approvals. Ta -da! Any color? I hope you understand what I'm doing. Ma'am, that orange color is not visible. Yeah, because the computer also doesn't care. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> okay, that's an explanation. All right, that's an explanation. So how your rating would be? It all depends on the structures which I'm telling you. Have you written such words? Connectors. Have you written clearly the first point and the second point in some way which gets highlighted to the computer, okay? Have you written the first clear point that what is the point? The point is no ownership. Okay, the point is multiple approvals. Okay, have you explained it or have you jumped to the new point immediately? How did you explain it? Did you give an example? Yes. Did you write only one mm -hmm. point? No. Did you write two points? Did you explain that? Yes, okay? So you have you have written probably three points here. You understand? This is how. 
there are three points no ownership multiple approvals and no emotional connects okay if you think i'm crossing 350 380 in that moment then you should cut down okay if you have time okay don't cross 280 300 what did you understand now your essay yes. will look something like this for yes. you. Yes. Is this the end? No, the bread is remaining. Yes. This is the meat of it. Okay. Whoops. What happened? Yeah. Did you understand? One, two, yes, and three. Till now, how many words I have written? 295 already. Okay, conclusion. Conclusion is just one line. One line. Okay, conclusion itself is a word to conclude okay this word should be there you can substitute yes you can write in conclusion you can write to sum up you can write at the end in a nutshell there are many but say for to conclude or to sum up okay to conclude mm -hmm. what should i conclude go back to the topic what's the topic then yeah same, exactly same. Okay. Topic and this. So I will keep this in mind while I'm writing this. To conclude, same thing. But change words now. To conclude, choice of prefer ke the choice. Okay. Renting over buying a home has its own advantages and disadvantages. Understand what I did? Yes. I just wrote the same thing, but I'm going to change words. Okay. Choice of renting over buying a home or renting a home or buying it. Okay, why should I write buying it over investing in it? Okay, has its own, why should I take advantages plus points as plus points of what? Of flexibility, you remember? Yes. And what was that point? I forgot. Flexibility and financial convenience okay flexibility and uh, personal finance okay plus points of flexibility and personal finance management however okay however it can be Risky, especially in old age, okay, uh, to live without an asset or without an own house or under the rented house, okay, okay, and with no, without an asset, especially with no memories of the space you would live in. Something like that. Whatever comes to my mind in that moment. Okay, so what did I do? I just took these points, flexibility, okay, and whatever money part. I just tweaked it a little bit here and there. Then I said that it is risky. A risky word itself means it could be disadvantages. Why? Because I'll be left with no asset. And no emotional connect means no memories. Something like that. Like you, you enjoy your youth in renting the space, but probably in the old age when you have to stay and you have to settle down at one place. Okay? It, it may not be easy to settle down. Okay? You may not have the house to settle down. Something like that. Okay? So I really did not invest too much of my mind. Okay? In finding the ideas, or ideas are already there. I'm just writing the same topic. Did you understand how it looks like? Yes. Okay. The first and last part would look exactly the same. Okay. 
if i change the colors of this you will realize otherwise you won't realize or what I, what i'm doing is like i'm not really writing this as part of the topic this is green color i know it's not visible because i really don't want you to focus on the points you already written that you understand the point okay so the same thing would be given here exactly the same thing offer flexibility flexibility okay financial convenience so i'm writ i've written personal finance money it's easy to manage okay very skip because i don't have this. so this is where your language comes into picture how you can write the same thought in different ways okay how you can tweak the sentence structure slightly to make it sound very different but it actually means the same thing okay if you observe the conclusion and the introduction is going to be exactly same this is the topic followed by the question in a statement format this is i'm concluding i'm writing the same topic but i'm adding few more elements from these two paragraphs of flexibility ownership and other things and making it little more so this is like a trailer of a movie if i read only this intro this conclusion i should understand what are points are there in the above paragraphs what is the question what are they what is the uh, writer trying to tell me from this got it yes ma'am yes any questions any concerns ma'am in exam mm. also uh, they are giving like a ms word like that no 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 it will be a window like a struct a box and only cut copy paste options are there nothing to highlight nothing to check the grammar or spellings uh no we can check the number of words number. yeah yeah that would be there you can check the number of words okay ah uh, where is my document wait let me save it before ha huh. you can ask questions parallelly renting and buying essay mm -hmm. should i assume no questions I taught you so well. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Self appreciation. Ma'am, <laughs> is paper uh, pen is better or uh, through online Sorry? is better? Online is it... better if you are somebody like me who keeps changing the thought. If you read and practice enough, paper pencil is good. because paper pencil gives you that control of writing you know in a way because there are many people who keep changing their thoughts and keep editing in online thing okay so yeah. they don't think of the mind map because they think any which way i can change it so they tend to waste a lot of time um, for striking and all uh, they will remove marks they will remove marks means uh, like uh, for hard marks this is what correction वो वो मार्क्स निकालेंगे नहीं व्हाट हाउ डू यू ट्रांसलेट इट वो मार्क्स कम करेंगे ओके यस दे विल रिड्यूस सी एज़ फार एज़ दे कैन इज देयर एनी नेगेटिव मार्किंग नो एज़ फार एज़ दे कैन रीड द हैंड राइटिंग एज़ लॉन्ग एज़ दे कैन रीड द हैंड राइटिंग दे वोंट डू दैट बट इफ यू थिंक दैट आई हैव टू रीड एवरी वर्ड अगेन एंड अगेन इफ योर ई लुक्स लाइक ए सी लुक्स लाइक ई आई लुक्स लाइक टी यू नो दैट इज अ प्रॉब्लम so as long as you are writing the normal handwriting we don't need really calligraphic version it's good don't write running handwriting if your handwriting is not uh, identifiable mama what okay. about strike out strikes you have eraser you have to write with the pencil pencil yeah no pencil allowed <laughs> I know you are adults and going back to your pencil is a concern. Yeah, then we can rub also, no, ma'am. Yeah, you can erase it. You have an eraser. So if you think, oh, oh I've written the spelling wrong. Oh, I've written consent consent twice. I can erase it. But then, don't write. Don't overwrite. Don't cut and scribble n number of times. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because the whole paper we need to write in pencil. Yeah, not only the writing part. अच्छा ओके ओके तो राइट हां एडिंग लिस्टिंग एंड रीडिंग दे अलाउ यू पेन बट फॉर राइटिंग आई कैन ओके हम्म सो मिनिमम स्क्रिबलिंग मिनिमम ओवरराइटिंग ओके इट्स अ मैटर ऑफ प्रैक्टिस इन स्कूल डिड यू हैव कंप्यूटर्स यस इन स्कूल डिड यू हैव कंप्यूटर बेस्ड टेस्ट नो 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 यू डिडंट हैव अ चॉइस राइट 
now because we have a choice we are thinking so much don't think so much go for one test work on the content part of it like how do i get it right if you have chosen one okay you have to follow what whatever the pros and cons of it are and accordingly work on your strengths and weaknesses hai na nothing is nothing is what you can say the best there is nothing called as a best version of anything everything has got its pros and cons do you think abhishek bachchan is happy because he has married the miss world miss universe He has got the best wife on earth. Do you think so? Take an interview yeah. of Abhishek Bachchan. <laughs> the most beautiful woman on earth has married him. He is the luckiest guy on earth. No, no. still he would have the same problems. What a common guy would have in a Jopar Patti, in a Ambani's house, in middle class, in Kalyan, in Andheri, in Lokanwala, Singapore, Malaysia. Eh, na, wahi hoga. So, aisa mat socho that oh, I'm losing out on something when I'm opting for one. It doesn't work like that. Okay, you focus on what you have and work on it. If you think that computer based is the one which you are comfortable with, then go for it. If you think you have not written anything for the last five years on a computer. please don't think that in one month you are going to join a typing class and work work better on it no then go for something that you have done for last 20 years which is writing right ha huh. as simple as that hmm? hmm any questions on pros and cons advantages and disadvantages no okay let me ask you a few questions how many words are there in the entire essay what is the range minimum 250 yes minimum 250 how many minutes do i have for 40 minutes 40 minutes how many paras i am supposed to write uh three i mean introduction the uh, body of main the main body paras uh, main and uh, the conclusion conclusion that main body paras will be two or three two, okay huh. 90% yeah. it will be only two i tell you when it has to be three okay yes what is the introduction yeah. all about when i have to think of writing an introduction what should i do uh, regarding the topic i mean yeah. in small we need to narrate it right yeah. write the same topic and paraphrase the same question in a statement okay yeah. this is your initial first day we have to just think like that later on you can refine it later on you can say oh let me add some background statement let me make it indirect let me make it a little fancy okay yeah. later on you can do that initially before you you know understand and you gather a lot of thoughts and before you're comfortable just start by this as a beginner level in one or two essays i'll tell you how we can further enhance it okay then uh, what is the sign post or what is the topic sentence for para 1 for advantages and disadvantages simply write there are several merits to this yeah phenomena whatever the topic is to the renting mm. to schooling to this internet to technology to carry this whatever they are writing okay there are several merits then how should i tell the first one by saying firstly the first and the foremost and then write the word or that phrase it has so and so okay but don't write only four words firstly it has got flexibility okay flexibility of what explain to whom or right? especially to those and then explain it further how can you say that it is flexible how can you say renting and flexibility what is the connection establish the connection by writing a short story or an example okay don't involve yourself as much as possible don't say i stayed in rented house and it was flexible for me to travel to my location blah 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 write it generic as if it is the problem of the whole world take your story and write it generic okay when people stay closer to the railway station or rented property which is closer to the travel options is easier for them to travel or commute something like that okay then how do i indicate yeah. this is a second problem secondly second advantage ha huh? <laughs> second advantage secondly okay or another problem is another issue another solution another advantage what are the title is and then you give that one line of which has that main problem or advantage and then explain it now close it close the para by saying for all these reasons people think this is advantages okay hence people go for this option because of all these options of uh, the positive thought process and then you have to open okay yes ankita you are raising your hand for something 
Are you just experimenting with your mobile or Zoom options? Okay. Yeah. So, a disadvantage. How do I say this is disadvantageous? There should be an opening line or a word. On the other hand, then quickly however. the other one. However. Okay. So, quickly the reader is like, what? What happened? Okay. There's a change of flow. Okay. So, the essay is changing the size and however, there's another side to it. There's a dark side to it. There are disadvantages, demerits, negatives. Okay. Or everything is not so rosy, rosy. Okay. And then you write this. And yeah, once you do that, explain the points and then close it. How many paras? Two paras. How many words in each para? Approximately? 100 mm -hmm. words. Okay, 100 odd plus or minus 10. Okay, otherwise you'll end up writing one chapter on it. Don't write long passages. Okay, what's the conclusion all about? How should I indicate the reader this is a conclusion? What should be the first word? Knock, knock. Anybody there? Am I connected technically? You guys are on mute? Uh, to uh, to okay. conclude and yeah. uh, then continue the sentence. Yeah, to conclude and then write the topic and mm -hmm. again the question. So you'll say to conclude, okay, renting a house has its own advantages of A and B. However, there's a dark side, negative side. There could be problems. There could be an issue of C and D. Okay. Hence, everybody should decide as per whatever. Don't say, I think, I believe. Nobody has asked your opinion. Okay, so please don't write your opinions. Any questions, any concerns at the moment? No. 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 If I share one topic with you, would you be able to write? Yes, ma'am. Good.